this advanced beginner tap dance tutorial, we're going to be working on a scuffle step heel combination. And be sure to watch all the way to the end. I'm going to give you some helpful tricks and tips on how to get those scuffle step heels going faster. If you're new here, I'm Rod from UnitedTaps.com. Without further ado, let's jump in. Starting with your right foot. Scuffle step heel, scuffle step heel, dig heel, scuffle step heel. We'll, go, we'll do that again. Six, ready, go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and. From there, we're going to start that pattern on the left. Scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel. However, since this is the second time we're doing the pattern, we'll do two dig heels. Dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel. I'll do the second set starting with the left foot. That was scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel. Let's do that left side one more time. After that, we'll take it from top. Ready, go. Scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel. Beautiful, my friends. Take it top through everything you know. Six. Right foot leads, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel. Let's throw that one more time with some counts. Six, ready, go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and. Beautiful. Well, from there, we're going to go to our third set, which is going to have three dig heels. Third set starts on the right. Scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel. Yes, I'm going to do that third set again. You have scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel. Super, my friends. Add that on from the top. Six. Ready. Go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Woo! Let's roll that one more time and then we'll finish it out. Six. Ready. Go. Scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel. From there, left foot's free. Scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, stamp, stamp, clap. Nice easy ending. I'll do that again. Starting left foot, you have. Scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, stamp, stamp, clap. Super, my friends. We're taking the top all the way through. You can do it. Six, ready, go. Scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, dig, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, scuffle, step, heel, stamp, stamp, clap. One more time with some counts, and then we'll roll it with some music. Six, ready, go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five, six, seven. Beautiful. Let's roll that one more time without the music, and then after that, we'll put some music on. It'll be even more fun. If you're having a good time, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, as well as dropping a comment down below let us, letting us know you're enjoying it or maybe what you would like to see next. We really appreciate that. All right, so let's hit it one more time, then we'll roll some music. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five six seven. Beautiful. Let's roll it with music. We'll be we'll be tapping to the song Phoenix Remix from my Phoenix Remix album, which you can get at unitedtaps.com. All right, so Phoenix Remix, we're going to start at about 12% under tempo. It's going to be faster than what we just did without music. 
but it's not the real speed. So we will work our way up. And after that, I'm gonna give you those tips on how to get faster, right? Here we go. Five, six, ready, go. That's minus 12%. We're going to boost it up to minus 6%. You'll definitely notice the difference. It'll push a little bit. Let's give it a shot. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. my super overachievers at real speed. This is going to be quick. Here we go. Five, six, Beautiful. I hope you had a wonderful time with that scuffle step heel combination. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and drop a comment down below. We really appreciate that. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. How do we get faster? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If we wanted to do this combination faster and faster, how can we do that? There is the obvious tried and true, and I, I, I just want to make a note of this because some people think it's just a trick. There's, you don't have to do the work. Sometimes you have to do it over and over and over until it becomes a muscle memory and you just get faster and faster and faster. So repetition is an important piece. There are other tricks, which I'm going to give you, but don't disregard repetition. That's a big part of it. Okay, so what are the tricks? So often I see students do something like this. When they do the dig, they're doing it way out here. And I'm like, holy cakes, that's... That's not a good plan. You're never going to go fast if you do the dig out here. So when you do that dig, I'm moving maybe two to three inches max. Right? So I'm keeping that dig way underneath me. I'm not letting it go far away. I'm keeping it underneath me. Another thing is I'm just, in general, as I go faster, I'm going to keep my taps close to the floor. Close, close. Right? I'm not going to have my toe super high and my heel super high. Uh, None of that stuff, right? That's going to slow you down. So keep it low, keep it low. Basically, we're shrinking everything down. We're keeping it underneath us and as close to the floor as possible, just so we have the taps have to move uh, less distance. The further they have to travel, the longer it takes. Right? It's just basic physics there. So keeping it underneath your body and keeping it close to the floor, those are the, the two primary strategies you're going to use to go faster, Another thing to watch out for, sometimes people tense up when they go fast. The faster they go, the more tense they get. Like, tight, 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 tight. That tends to work against you. If you can, to stay relaxed. I know that's hard. If you're naturally a tenser, when someone says relax, you're like, ah, it doesn't work that easily. I understand. But to the best of your ability, try to relax a little bit. 
movement, right? Relax as much as you can into it. So we're keeping it underneath us, we're keeping it close to the floor, and trying to stay more on the relaxed side. But don't forget good old fashioned repetition. You're, you can have all these tricks, but if you haven't done the repetition, they're only gonna get you so far, all right? The repetition really counts for a lot. All right, I hope you found that super helpful. Hey, unitedtaps.com, we have so much great content for you. We've got lessons, we've got across the floor, we've got a tap dictionary, we've got practice exercises, workout videos, choreography, you name it. If it has to do with tap dance, we probably have it. It's so much stuff for you to have fun with, right? So tap dance is a great way to get some exercise in, in a way that doesn't feel like you're exercising, but that you're just having fun. And we have a ton of great content that I think you'll enjoy. So I hope you'll check that out. I, of course, am Rod Howe from unitedtaps.com, making you happier and healthier through tap dance. <laughs>